Hello and welcome. Let's model this soccer ball as a solid. You see on the left hand side the commands I have used. I will roll back um, all features and make a quick walkthrough and then I will repeat every step so you can model along. All right. At the basis of the ball is a truncated icosahedron um, and consists of 12 pentagons, five corners, pentagon, and 20 hexagons, six corners. All right. Okay, so I'll roll back here, show my first sketch. Very simple that pentagon, that hexagon. Then I created um, those two planes. And then there is an interesting sketch. Um, it's an arc, which is defined by rotating that vertex and making it coincident with that one plane. We'll do it in a bit together. Now, and that's how I can define that plane. Draw the hexagon there. One more sketch to find the center of our ball. That is that sketch here. Then a surface revolve and the projected curve normal to the target. Then we'll just delete that and fill those edges. Make another plane for mirroring thickening, filleting, then, it, then that mirror, and then a circular pattern. Make what we get as a composite part. Mirror that, and with a transform tool, rotate the upper part. Okay, so that's it. So I will start my first sketch on the top plane. That will be that pentagon centered in the origin, five sided. Make one side horizontal and give it a dimension of 44 millimeters. And that 44 millimeters dimension will actually be the only dimension we key in. With P, I hide all planes and make one more polygon, six-sided, great. And grab a vertex, make that coincident with that one and that one with that one. All right. So, um, now let's draw some construction lines. One from here to the center. Another one from here to there. Then one more uh, to here and there to that edge and give that a right angle. All right, just for information, we will um, catch a driven dimension between those two and know that that angle is 36 degrees. We will need that later on. All right, we're finished with that sketch. And 
And now let's create some planes. One over here, line angle with the top and at a 90 degree angle. That's one. And the other one is that one. And the top plane again, and again, 90 degrees. Accept that. And now we will draw that circle on that plane here on that one with the top plane, 90 degrees. Actually, we don't need that plane number two. We will draw that arc on plane number three. So sketch arc, that's the, the center. That's the radius. I'll go up here. And to define that point, I will make it coincident with that plane. OK, let's hide those planes. So um, viewed from the top, that is where that corner has to be and where the other Hexagon will meet with that one. Okay, so let's define the next plane with the three points. One, two, three. And start a sketch on that one. Um, polygon. Six-sided, yeah. And make these again coincident here and here. Great. So accept that. Hide that plane. And now we will define a new plane. Well, we could use it again with three points, the origin, that one, and that one. All right. So we're going to define the center of our soccer ball now with a line normal to this plane and another one from here, normal to that plane, all right? So start a sketch on plane number five. A line goes up here, goes over there, and perpendicular to that edge, for example. And make one more line we can no actually we can we can define our um, circle. Make it big and make it coincident with that edge. Draw a line from here or there. Make that coincident with the center, horizontal, and cut that. And we can make all those three construction geometry. 
And that's it for that sketch. And just to um, take advantage of the situation, we'll define another plane by three points with these three. So S plane, three points, one, two, three. All right, hide all that. And now make a, a rotate um, of that arc as a surface, that edge around that one. Just to see what we're doing, I'll make it just a little, little side, whatever, 68 degrees, whatever you like. Only has to be bigger than those corners. Now, let's go to that um, now project curve command. Projected curve, all right? So it's a curve to face. That one, that one, ah, uh, no. Wrong sketch. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. And from the initial sketch, those edges make the direction normal, normal to target. And that is our target. All right. We get it there. Now we can keep that um, sketch open or visible and delete that face and use the fill command for um, with those edges. Now, where is fill? You know, fill. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great. One more time. One, two, three, four, five. But I want it as a new surface. All right. And now we will thicken that. Um, over here, thicken to the outside, make that three millimeters. Um, okay. One more time, three millimeters. Okay. Now, how do we want that to look? Um, part one is that one. I'll rename that to six and give that an, a white appearance. And um, part two, I'll call that five and give that a darker appearance, maybe something like that or something like that. Okay, now we'll give that some fillets and actually we can just pick that face and from different bodies, See, we got two parts, and with the same command, I can select those two. Great. Now, um, where was that plane I wanted to use as a mirror? Plane number six, right? So, mirror, 
part, that one and that one, over here. New. All right. And now we will make that pattern, circular pattern. Um, of that one, that one, and that one. Axis is this. Five. All right. So hide that plane. And yeah, we need one more plane um, to mirror the bottom to the top. So plane, um, again, that line angle, um, that edge with the top plane. We get it. So we got all those parts here, right? And once we mirror that over to the top, that can be a little confusing what we're going to rotate. So I'll just combine all those with this here, composite part. Ah, first I need to hide um, sketches, that one. I don't think I need to hide the plane because um, everything what I window select will be in that composite part. Okay. See? Everything we get. Great. Now, mirror. This. Ah. Mirror all of those over here. See, that's what I'm talking about. And now we can just switch off the visibility here of the bottom part. And we still need that um, sketch. Which one? That one, right? Because we need um, to rotate all that, all this, those uh, 36 degrees. So transform, pick rotate, pick all that. Axis is that one. Degrees, 30 six okay make our composite part visible hide that plane hide that sketch hide that arc sketch and have a look at it maybe go into translucent mode Or um, have a look at section view. How things are. And um, that's it for the soccer ball and as a solid. I hope you like this and maybe you picked up some tips and tricks on the way. Um, I have published a volleyball tutorial. Maybe you're, you're interested in that. You can check it out on my channel. And well, if you want to suggest any other object to be modeled, you can leave a comment here and I will see what I can do. Of course, it would make me happy if you give this video a like or subscribe to my channel. Well, that's it from my side.
of YouTube. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon.